Because there was no uh, legal representation, the MBA offered uh, to come to what we have to do. Yeah. Uh, you know, taking, we have two witnesses, the, the petitioner and the one other person. We would like to take that the Omoto should carry on as the first witness. And then later, Mr. Sonti. Is he the man on the witness stand? Yes. yes and then we we'll take Mr. Sonti, the main subject to. Sonti? Thank you. Me. Edu, ITUA. The first person here is Delta. Or what was your priority? Very And the second person is Sonny. Edu. Yes. Can you swear the witness for this? I hear by caution that if I tell a lie in my testimony before this tribunal, or willfully mislead this tribunal, I am liable to be prosecuted. And if found guilty, the seriousness is dreadful. According to the law. According to the law. Your full name, sir. I, Omoto Shoruka Kingsley, swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give before this tribunal will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. Yeah. Can you tell this panel your name, where you live, and what you do for a living? I am Omotosho Olukayo de Kinski. Which is the son in which? Omotosho. Very well. A higher institutional administrator, precisely Deputy Registrar Yaba College of Technology. I reside in number 17. Number 17, number 17 what? Street, Oregon, Lagos. Yes, my Lord, I've seen it. I've seen that petition. Now, recall, can you recall, July 15, 2019, July 15, 2019, the event of that day, what can you recall about the events of that day? First of all, let me just grip the indulgence of the panel and members that are here that the opportunity has risen for us to lay our own story on the table. Right from the event of July 15, we have made a frantic effort. Hold on, hold on. I can see you are doing it. Would you want to take your seat? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much that the opportunity has come today. No, hold on. Now, I want you to look at this paper. While you are talking, you look straight at the members of the panel and also try to uh, 
slow down as much as possible to let them take notes and go straight to hit the point so that we can take all the once again, once again, I thank the opportunity that to have been afforded us to lay our side of this, this, our story on the table. Coming inside, I saw the Lagos State Judicial Panel of on Restitution for Victims of SARS, related businesses and other matters. When I look at the, the word restitution, which says restoration and recompense, those work were very, very crucial to the event of July 19th, uh, July 15, 2019, as we have passed. What transpired on July 14, which was on Sunday, I attend Christ Apostolic Church Victory Land, Shillong Street, the Lukwe Jew. The victim of SARS brutalization. Hold on. Who is that victim? What is the name? Francis Eni Udu. The name of the church, please. Christ Apostolic Church, Victory Land, Lupenu, Shillong Street, Lupenu, Lucas. Yeah. No. Yes. On Sunday, I Sunday the fourteenth, I was with Francis Eniudu until five p.m. because this said Francis Eniudu is a member of my association, Christ Apostolic Church Men's Association, in which I am the chairman. So we had cause to have a meeting and we dispersed at 5 p.m. on Sunday. I was in my office precisely at 8 o'clock when I received a call saying that Francis N. Udo had been killed at a street very close to the church. So that is Adishegiri Street in Off Shillong. Yeah. I quickly pick up my car and went straight to the venue. By the time I got to the venue in Adishegiri Street, I have seen a large number of crowd. They were so large that the whole street was filled up. And it took time before I got to the place where this individual, Francis Eliud, was lying down with his blood, on his blood. By the time I gained access, Permit me to recall to say that this man in the is a physically challenged individual. And his daily job is to clean houses. He gets, he has some houses that hold on, was a physically challenged person. He was a physically challenged person. Okay. Yes. His occupation is a cleaner. Was a cleaner. Was a cleaner. What kind of a cleaner? Industrial cleaner? The, there, are, there are some houses in the vicinity that employ the services. 
He will clean their toilets and their bedroom. That is what he does for a living. Some, he goes there on, 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 on two-day basis. So he has lots of houses that had employed his services. So each morning he wakes up, what he does for a living is to go to the next house, clean their bedroom, clean their toilet, sweep the surroundings, and then go to the next, depending on the, on the schedule of work for that day. So yes, he was a cleaner. Yes, we heard about that. Um, can you tell us specifically how he was killed and who killed him? The I said earlier on I was called from my office from Yaba. I came to Shilon Street, Adishiguri Street. I met him dead on the floor. Okay. And while there, the large number of people were shouting, ah, this man has been killed is by Aki, by Aki Muhammad, alias Koda. They were shouting, they were saying, nobody will dare remove the body of this man unless the man that killed him Akim Muhammad alias Koda Kong, they will not allow. You're saying that you heard that uh, was killed by Akim Muhammad. Akim Muhammad alias Skoda. Skoda. Yes, a SARS operative. Okay, he's a SARS operative from Ladibor SARS office. Okay, let me let's comment to that. Akim Muhammad, aka Skoda, from SAS office in Lagibo, Mushin. What did you do to either verify or to confirm that or what are the circumstances or by what way did you confirm? Why there? I took the picture, like, like most people that were there were taking pictures of the line of his death. And just there, why I got there, I picked up this shell, this bullet shell. Okay. This bullet shell, I picked it up and made a photo of it. Okay. You picked up the bullet shell? Yes, I picked up the bullet shell just, to, just beside him. You, you know, it, it, it was hit on the head. It was hit on the head. And the bullet shell was very close to that where he laid his head. So I pick up the bullet shell. The bullet shell. I was picked. Okay. Picked up the bullet shell. Why not we seem to return that the shell, the bullet shell? That's an exhibition. I'm not going to have this. Thank you. Yes. The bullet shell. Can I admit the. Yes, below the lot and that will be admitted to be in this case. Another major. Oh,
A bullet uh, shell is thereby admitted and marked with the A. No, no, the, the bullet shell is not marked. What is the thing about it that is the issue? I mean, what is the thing about it that you can talk about? Is there a number of Yes, there's a, there's a number of the, the, the number of the bullet shell. What is the number? The B Y. B Y. It's a repetition. 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 It's a and then the last word was Luga. Very well. The physical bullet cell is uh, before the panel, so. Mm. Okay, so how we got the bullet shell at, at that place? What then did you do? The, the, the people were surrounded, that, that were on the streets shouting Akim, Skoda must come and pick the, the dead body. Otherwise, they will not allow anybody to pick the, the dead body. There, according to eyewitnesses, they said Akim Skoda, along with his other colleagues, came with a Toyota Corolla car with plate number YAB. Hold on. Why AP with tinted glass. Was there any circumstances by which you concluded that it was uh, Akim scholar. Or did the police admit that he was a killer? Tell us generally your interaction with the uh, police. As we were there, looking at the dead body on the floor, not quite long, large number of police vehicles came with siren as they disembarked from the vehicles they were firing tear gas so everybody begins to come for his life there were there were stampede to all, in all directions people were running here and there so at that period, everybody was away from where the dead body was. By the time the whole thing settled, they had carried the, the dead body of Francis N. Who carried it? The police that came. But I have the infantry. I had the infantry to approach the high-ranking officer there. Yes. Asking him about his identity. And he said he was the area commander, area F. So you are saying that the area commander, area F? Yes. Came to the scene that day. Yeah, exactly. With uh, a lot of policemen. A lot of policemen. To carry the, the cops. The cops. Away. And after the cops.
cups were carried away. Mm. Uh, permit me to say this because we are stakeholder. I'm a Nigerian, and truth exhausts a nation. Sin is a reproach to a nation. You know, aftermath of that, they packed loads of people. They were going to various houses to pick, to pick people indiscriminately. The old men, who was the, the police, those people that I said came, those people that I said came. People from where? From their various houses, the vicinity. Okay. The vicinity. They were going to houses to carry people inside their vehicles. Carrying their people inside their vehicles. But that is outside this. But I must point it out that all those people that were carried, they, they, they extorted them because they paid before they are released. So to me, to that extent, it's not fair. It's mm -hmm. not good. Now, so after the corpse was after carried, the, after the corpse after the corpse was carried away. Tell this specifically so that we can after the cops, after the, the corpse was carried the corpse away. Yes, sir. Led by the area commander. Yes, sir. Okay. Just tell us briefly what steps have been taken, if any, uh, in terms of. Uh, Getting justice, did the police admit? If not, what is the story that, I mean, what explanation did the police give to you when you confronted them? Another bizarre thing was that just before one hour to the incident, DSP Bala Elkana issued a press release less than one hour to the incident saying that Eniudu was killed by hoodlums, that there were opposing groups fighting each other, and in the process, he was killed. Okay, hold on. From what you have said, did the police say that he was in part of the hoodlum, or he was a victim of the hoodlum? That he was a victim of the hoodlum. That he was killed by the hoodlum. That, yes. was, that was what DSP Bala Erkana issued, the press statement that was issued immediately after the incident. Mm -hmm. So you are saying that the police uh, denied killing him? The fa the fabricated Okay, so tell this. Uh, they, according, according to those that were on ground before I came, this man, who is known by majority of people in the vicinity, this Akim Skoda, the SARS officer, was came to the area and on sighting him, maybe by those who know him, whom they have some things together, started to run. As they were running, the man was chasing them. He fired the gun. Coincidentally, unknowingly, I assume, because he was not looking for any udon. The picture, the picture we will tender will show you the walking tools where the man held all his walking tools, the pail, the broom, the mopping stick, was just beside him. He had just finished cleaning one house, going to the next house. When eventually the, this bullet, this police bullet hit him. Okay. You said you, you, said you have some pictures? Yes, there are some pictures. Uh, Do you have them here? Yes, I have some of them here. Okay. Now, before that, uh, so that we can wrap up quickly now, um, what else to tell this panel? What the family of the church of you have done in cases you've done to quickly so that. Uh, yeah, immediately we. I took it upon myself thinking justice will be readily available. 
employ the services of a legal woman and uh, wrote petition. Yes, to the to the uh, first, I wrote the petition to assistant inspector general of police, Nigerian police, zone so 12 quarters, so you come okay. on 18 July 2019. That was the third day he was killed and made copies to the governor of Lagos State, which was signed for. The DPO, the local police station, area commander, area F police command, commissioner of police, Alagma Annex, Ikoi. <laughs> Attorney General of Lagos State, Ministry of Justice, Alausa. Then, when we never had anything forthcoming, you know, this petition that we raised was dated 18 July 2019, and we employed the service of Korea service that delivered each copies to the various offices. Okay. On the 9th of August, we went to civil liberty organization. Mm -hmm. Civil liberties organization on the 9th of uh, on the 9th of August 2019. Okay. Also, we were looking for assistance okay. for mm -hmm. how they will help us to get justice. Okay, is that all you did? Then they, 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 on our behalf, forwarded a petition to the Lagos State, Lagos, the Commissioner of Police, Lagos Command, GRA Keja, on 5th August 2019. Okay. And if that is not enough, because we were just desirous of uh, justice. We went to OPD. What is OPD? Uh, Office of the Public Defender at Surulere. What was the date of the letter? 30 August 2019. They equally helped us to raise petition. Request for investigation and prosecution of culprit in the ultimate death of late Francis N. Udo to the Commissioner of Police. That was dated 38 August 2019. Well, those were the things we did before coming to this panel. Yeah, those were the things we did before coming to this panel. Hold on. You know, we seek to turn out those uh, letters. The four letters as variously dated and uh, announced for this panel. The fourth one is the one. Okay, we'll see together the three. The three. There are three. 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 Yeah, three. Okay. As, yeah. uh,
Living Spring Solicitor's Letter of 18 July 2019 through the Assistant Inspector General, Nigerian Police Zone 2 Headquarters, in repetition against Inspector Mohammed Atim, who led SARS operative and maliciously unlawfully shot sporadically and murdered one Francis Emin and Edom is hereby admitted and marked Exhibit B. Letter of Office of the Public Defender under reference MOJ slash OPJ slash CWNPF slash 18 slash volume of 30th August 2019 to, to the Commissioner of Police request for investigation and prosecution of a culprit in the untimely death of late Francis Eni is admitted and marked Exhibit C. Civil Liberties Organizations led to August 2019 to the Commissioner of Police Lagos State in re urgent intervention on death of one late Francis Eni Idum is admitted and marked Exhibit C. As a doctor. Yeah. Yes. Now you have uh, shown the bullet step. Was there, did you do anything, or what did you do to link his death to that bullet shell? Was there any investigation as to his death being caused by bullets or something? Yes, there is. Tell us. July, from July 15, July, September, October, the body was still lying, and then another thing, sir, which is outside your question. But I want these people because we need restitution, and we want systemic uprightness. The cause of this same man was dumped in a container in a mortuary in Yaba. And the corpse that were in which he inhabited were for mass burial. If we had not hold taken... On, hold on, hold on. You're saying, are you saying that the police that took the corpse away dumped the corpse at uh, the place you have stated? I don't know, sir. I swear. The mortuary beside the military barrack, in the, beside military hospital in Yaba. I don't know, but by the time we got there to the mortuary, the the mortuary attender insisted that the man was not there. We went around the people, the corpse, we couldn't find him there. They now took us to a container, according to the mortuary attendant, saying that those people that are in the container were for mass, mass barrier. That was what I know. The body was done there. And reaching for mass, mass, mass barrier. barrier. Okay. So they advised that for them to take the body from the container meant for mass burial to the proper mortuary, we need to pay certain sum, and we pay them ten thousand five hundred for them to remove him from the container to the real mortuary. We paid ten thousand five hundred, which they did anyway. It was the the case while in progress we were directed to Panty Police Station. We were directed to Panty Police Station and it was the IPO. Forgotten the IPO's name anyway. That was uh, that 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 made us to know that we have to go to that mortuary. It was the IPO. My second will be able to remember his name. That directed us to the mortuary. All said and done, 
the parents at home, the aged parents at home, is old parents and in Cross River, were asking that they, 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 they bring him for burial. So we went through the process of autopsy. Okay, so there was an autopsy report. There was an autopsy report. Mm -hmm. Were you given medical certificate on the cause of death? Yes, we were given. We were given. Did you see a copy of it? Would you recognize it? Certainly. Can you look at this? Is it? Yes, this is it. Can you, with kind of permission of the tribunal, can you read what you said to be the cause of death on that? Lagos State Government Medical Certificate of Cause of Death. I hereby satisfy that I performed an autopsy on the body of Francis N. Udo of number 11 Shobai Street in Lubenyu. Who was apparent? Who apparently? Objection to vote. We sought leave of the panel to read for the law. The law of the studio and we know the law of the law that the studio. Have you also been there before? So look at it. Let him read it and know whether it's the document he knows about. As a top person, as a top person, just go straight to the place where. To the best of my knowledge and belief, as herein stated. This massive infracerebral hemorrhage, gunshot okay, so that to, the to the head. Uh, that, that that the head. Is the yeah. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, please seek to turn that as a news to this Lagos State Medical Certificate of Cause of Death of Francis M. Edom, under the hand of Dr. O. Ayolai Wola of Department of Pathology and Forensic Medicine, Lakso, he is hereby admitted and marked as the E. That's yeah. So just tell us briefly so that we can take the other person. What happened after, up to the point? Well, we collected the death of death certificate and eventually organized uh, a funeral wiki for him on the third of October and on the fourth on the third of October and on the on the fourth of October he was carried away to his own town in uh, uh, Cross River for burial. But before then. Yes. It was a celebrated case because of all media, press, electronics, they carried they carried it. It was a celebrated case. Very celebrated case. It was all over. For some weeks it was became it became part of the news. Okay, it was a popular case. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are here. All the, the ones that we photocopy from the newspaper. So, like, uh, how many like how many media organizations do you have? Some of their names. Who can Independent, Vanguard. Uh, you have copies of. Yeah. I have I have copies of the Nation. I have the front one for the Front. I have the one for the Independent newspaper. Mm -hmm. The one for the Electronic. We cannot lay hands on that, but. It's in the YouTube. Yes, the YouTube. Uh, we have Lord, we seek to send that to Independent newspaper publication of story titled Stray Bullet allegedly fired by SARS officials 
Hill Street Cleaner in Lagos. Punch publication sanction as SARS operatives allegedly killed cleaner in Lagos. The nation's uh, publication Nigerian saw SARS operatives steal cleaner while chasing him smokers are hereby admitted together and marked exhibit F, F1 and F2. Uh, you said he was a member of your church. Yes. In few words, how would you describe him while he was alive? And what, how did the church respond after his death? The late Francis E. Udom is an amiable individual, very jovial. In spite of his challenges, his physical structure, they call him Agba. Anyone who sees him will say him Agba. He doesn't have money, but anywhere, anybody who does anything in the church or in the vicinity, he will go there, he will help them to park, to watch, and he loves dancing. Anytime he hears music, he's a, he's a true man of God. He worships. He will come out. He will, he's not ashamed to come out into the open and to begin to dance, to begin to dance. Everybody loved him. And it was the love they had for him. Come and see the day we had a wake for this gentleman. He was loved by all. He is a, 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 a right man to the court. He's not a courtist. He doesn't belong. He's a member. He's a member in the church. He was a member. The men's Christ Apostolic Church, men association. And the future prominently, although he will not contribute any money, but physically, he will do more than those who contribute money. So, thank you very much. I will not talk to you for him. The other issues, specific issues, we would like to take with the other subjects. We will, uh, the, I don't know if they want to cross it. Down any questions, Mr. Jeffrey? We shall be making an application that record the petition that gave rise to this uh, matter. We want you to look at it. We want to ask our questions from that. Yeah. Do you have a question? Second to the last paragraph on the first page. Can you read that please? That is us. Something like that is us. I want to read that please. Yeah. Yeah. The, the second to the last part. Yes, yes, yes. On the first one. I'm noticing that the disease was. No, no, no. Second to the last part. Okay, the SAR. Some British came to the area with Toyota Corolla car with plate number YAB seven two five AP in Tinted Class. Yes. So you are going to think that the operative that came to Mobile that day came with the private vehicle, yes. not the police vehicle. Yes, yes. yes. Came. Yeah. With the private What did you say took away the cause of the disease? I have 
to approach the leader who told me if you want to hear any other thing, come to Area F. I'm the Area F commander. Him and his men, where the body was lying, because they have tear gas, everybody ran away. The police, certainly it was police that carried him inside their own vehicle and they zoom off. But to specifically say it was Mr. A or Mr. B that picked the cops, nobody. <laughs> Yes. 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 Now, open to the second page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I want to read the the last line on the second page. The last line. The last number nine, number nine, one, two, three, nine. The nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Since the mother of our son, since the mother of our son, we have gone through all kinds of traumatic experience that is better imagined. The SARS operatives after killing him took away his corpse. What is the problem? So which one do you want to be trained to do after this? And after an hour, they are conducted. Now, on the next line, we are saying that the SARS operation after killing him took the name of his corpse. I have sworn and hold here to say the truth, but nothing but the truth. That very day, 15th of July, in my presence, the police operative came with large number of vehicles and they took away the corpse. So this one may, may be immaterial, but the truth is that the area F commander, whom I approached myself, told me he was the commander area F. He brought police, and the police carried him in one of their vehicles and the way. So, if you have a second opportunity to arise in position, you will start. Based on this one now, I will explain to you say that I will start with the second one.